The Superintendent Bruce Bartholomew from the South African Police Force contacted me by email in January of 2006 and requested to consult with me on that case. We agreed to meet for four hours and he brought with him uh, Fred van der Viper's high-tech shoes. He had made a positive identification of the right shoe of Fred van der Viper with regards to producing the blood mark in the bathroom of the Engelotts murder scene. The marks on the bottom of the shoe is quite a complex pattern with herringbone marks and straight lines and there's a complete pattern under the shoe. Those are present on every single one of the shoes that came out of that particular mold at the factory. And those are called class characteristics. Well, my overall opinion uh, was that there were not even class characteristics. Mr. Bartholomew, I said, are you in possession of the test impressions that you made of these shoes? And he said, no, I haven't made any test impressions. That is, uh, forensic Footwear Evidence 101, it's, the, it's one of the first things you're gonna learn the first couple days that you're examining evidence is this is how you start out. But I was trying to be diplomatic and not be argumentative. And I said, well, you've already issued your report. You've already reached a conclusion. Anyone who has any basic amount of training would not have concluded this. I was very surprised that he was seeing anything in common between this blood mark and the shoe. If I had come thousands of miles from South Africa to the United States, uh, if I had come that far to consult with someone who I considered worthy of consulting with, and they totally disagree with me, I would show some evidence of being upset, being concerned, shocked, uh, and I saw none of those reactions from Superintendent Bartholomew. He seemed somewhat uh, unaffected by anything I said, he was here with his wife. Uh, they were in somewhat of a hurry because they were on their way to Disney World.